Hey guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with a brand new budget category phone from Samsung. It's their all new Galaxy F22. Now Samsung is calling this phone as a full on blockbuster, especially because of the specs and features they're offering for this price point. And today in this video, we're going to unbox and check it out. It comes in this sort of similar kind of packaging. We've got a picture and the branding everywhere. Galaxy F22 written on the box packaging and going to the backside, we've got some of its main highlights like the phone comes with a 90 hertz super Super AMOLED display, has a 48 megapixel quad camera and a big 6000 milliampere battery. So those were some of its main highlights and without wasting any more time, let's get started with the unboxing. The phone actually comes in two variants, 4 plus 64 and 6 plus 128. We have the base variant 4 plus 64 GB. And as soon as you open the box at the top, do not forget to check out this accessory box, which comes with a SIM ejection tool. And inside, I guess we got some paperwork as usual. Let me just open it and see. Yep. We've got some paperwork, just make sure to read that. Keeping that aside guys, here's the phone we've been waiting for, the brand new Galaxy F22. Oh wow, it's actually available in two different colors, denim black and denim blue. We have the black color variant. We'll come back to the phone in a moment. Along with that, you get a 15 watt Samsung's adaptive fast charger. The phone actually supports 25 watts, but in the box, you only get a 15 watt charger. And lastly, a USB type C cable for charging and data transfer. That's it guys, these are all the stuff we got in the package. Now let me give you all a closer look at the phone and then talk about all of its features and highlights. Let me just peel off the sticker and give you a closer look at the phone. So there you go, the Galaxy F22 in the hands. Oh wow, this looks pretty nice for the price. It's got this brand new denim kind of finish in black color and looks quite attractive. So let me give you an overview starting off from the front side. The phone comes with a 6.4 inch HD plus Super AMOLED Infinity U display and the best part about it is 90Hz refresh rate. There's also a 13 megapixel camera at the top, selfie camera and that is pretty much it. There is nothing on the front side. Going to the right over here, we've got some buttons which include a volume rocker and a power button with a built-in fingerprint reader. The quality of the buttons is also pretty good. And going to the top side, there's nothing over here except a secondary noise cancellation microphone. Heading over to the left side, even this area looks pretty clean, just the SIM card tray. The phone supports a traditional type SIM card tray that comes with two nano SIM slots and one micro SD card. Yes, the storage on it is expandable. On the bottom side, you've got a 3.5mm headphone jack, a primary microphone, type C port for charging and a single down firing speaker. And here you go, this is how the brand new F22 looks like. Very beautiful finish. Let me just peel off the sticker so you'll get a better look at the backside. There you go, the phone actually has a new textured and a pattern kind of design at the back, which Samsung is calling it as denim finish and it looks pretty good. The build quality of the phone is also very nice. As usual, the whole body is made of polycarbonate and there's nothing over here. You've got the Samsung branding and going to the top side, here's the rear quad camera setup. The F22 features a 48 megapixel primary camera, there's an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle, 2 megapixel for macro and 2 megapixel for depth sensing. And yes, you do have a tiny LED flash just below the camera setup. That's it, that was our complete overview. And wait a second, I forgot to mention about the battery. The phone comes with a 6000 milliampere big battery and in spite of having that big battery, it's only 9.3 mm thick and weighs around 203 grams. So feels quite convenient and comfortable in the hand. What I'll do is I'll just set up the phone and then be right back to continue the video. All right guys, so I'm back to continue the video. The phone is all set up and it's good to go. And I've also set up the fingerprint reader on it. I've told you, right, the fingerprint reader on this phone is built into the power button itself. Now, some people prefer having it over here. Some people prefer having it at the rear side. Let me know which one you're actually comfortable with in the comment section down below. I feel this is good because it's quite convenient while unlocking. I can easily use my thumb to open it very conveniently. Again, this is again my personal opinion. Your choice may vary. Anyways, let's quickly unlock the phone and check out how it performs. Okay. Not bad. This is actually fast. So guys, as you can see, 
the fingerprint reader was working well and was unlocking the phone almost all the time. No issues over here. And yes, you do have face unlock as well. And there you go. This is how Samsung F22's display looks like. It comes with a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED Infinity U display with 90 hertz refresh rate. And from my first impressions, I have to say the display on this phone looks gorgeous. It's quite bright guys, 600 nits of brightness and the colors just look rich and vibrant thanks to that Super AMOLED panel. And best part is it comes with 90 hertz refresh rate so everything feels smooth and fluidic while navigating especially in the UI guys and also app openings closings all transitions look quite smooth and fluidic. I'm not sure if you can see that in the video but the effect is definitely there. Again some people might say hey this is only a 720p display HD plus display. I do agree that the sharpness is a bit less, not as crisp and clear as a 1080p panel, but again, you're getting Super AMOLED with 90Hz refresh rate, right? So I guess you'll have to trade that off for these extra features. Anyways, what I'll do is I'll just quickly head over to the settings and I'll show you the software information. Okay, about phone section, software information. So out of the box, the phone runs Android version 11 and One UI 3.1. So everything is like up to date on this phone. And talking about the storage information, well, this is a 64 GB variant, right? So out of the box, Okay, you can see that 19 GB has already been occupied. So that means you're left with around 42 or 43, I guess. Not to worry, you can even expand the storage using an external SD card up to 1 TB. That option is also there. Now, the whole UI menu interface, I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with uh, Samsung's One UI 3.1, right? So there's nothing new over here. Now you do have always on display support that is there and some special Samsung smart gesture options are also there. So that's it about One UI 3.1 guys. I don't want to go in depth because everybody knows these UI, right? So yeah, what I'll do is I'll just quickly head over to YouTube. We'll play some videos and talk about that. But before that, the phone is actually powered by MediaTek's G80 octa-core CPU. And let me tell you, I've been using it for quite some time, right? So on a day-to-day -day kind of usage, like opening and closing of apps, shifting between apps from multitasking and doing a bit of, you know, uploading, downloading, slight text editing, these sort of stuff, I have faced no issues on this phone. Everything was smooth. And G80 is also capable of playing games, guys, not an issue. On top of that, the phone only has 720p resolution, right? So it can easily handle graphic intensive games also without any issues. On top of that, extra features, I forgot to mention that it supports Samsung Pay Mini and comes with Samsung's Knox Lite security. Okay, so let's play some videos on YouTube and then we'll talk about the display and the sound quality. It's about time I finally change my gaming chair and give a makeover to my room. Hey guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super interesting because I'll be showing you my brand new gaming chair. Thing is, I've been using this chair for quite some time, right? How many years has it been? I think one and a half or maybe two years. I don't exactly remember and it's all worn out. A lot of you people... Okay, initial impressions, the display quality is very good for the price. There's decent amount of detail, the colors look rich and vibrant and thanks to that Super AMOLED panel and you're getting 90 hertz smooth refresh rate, right? And the brightness is also quite high and sufficient, around 600 nits. See guys, unless you like pay close attention to the display and keenly observe, you can't make out that big of a difference between 720p and 1080p at such small display size. So for a day-to-day -day usage, this is like more than enough and you'll be quite satisfied. And talking about the sound, I've told you right, it comes with a single down firing speaker and the audio quality was also pretty good. It was producing great clarity with minimum distortion and the output was also loud and satisfactory. So before we wrap up the video, let's just quickly open up the camera app, take some picture samples and see how they turn out. Okay. Now that was snappy. If you ask about the camera quality, see initial impressions, picture samples do look pretty nice and colorful. But again, if you want a detailed review, that is something you'll have to wait because I'll have to use a camera in different scenarios, different scenes, different situations, right? Collect different samples and then only I'll be able to share my review and feedback. So guys, I'll be using this phone for a couple of days starting today and I'll be testing it in different aspects. So in my full review video now, I'll be talking about the display quality in depth. We'll be talking about the CPU performance while gaming and day-to-day -day usage, how is the 90 hertz smoothness and we'll talk about the camera performance, battery life and a lot more. So apart from that, if you have any other questions also now, just let me know in the comment section and I'll try to cover them in my review. 
Lastly, talking about the price, the base variant of this phone starts at 12,499 rupees and will be available on Flipkart. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. You can check it out there. See, this phone was mainly targeted for people who want like a good Super AMOLED display with 90Hz refresh rate, big battery and good camera guys. If you are also a person looking for these sort of uh, phone aspects, then maybe you can definitely check out this phone. So that's it for today, time to wrap it up. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.